It is getting into my favorite time of the year, fall. Uh, the mornings are a lot cooler. The leaves are starting to fall. I mean, the weather is just perfect right now. And, and all in all, where I live, it has been a pretty good summer. As I've been through some bad ones here. And I've been through some good ones. But it's been pretty good. Have not had any complaints. People that just move here might think, oh, it was terrible. Heat wave, heat wave. <laughs> it was not. It was actually pretty good. A heat wave is when we have 90 days over 100 degrees. That has happened. Didn't even come close. We probably had five, if that, five days, 100 or more. I don't even think we had that. I think maybe two that I can recall and I can tell how bad a summer is or how hot a summer is a lot of times by how hard my AC is working and it just hasn't been overworking this this summer uh, I do have a new one you know it seems I get a new one every two years because they don't last but I think this new one I got the Medea which I strayed away from because, oh, well, that's a Walmart brand. It's actually done better than any of them have. And I bought a new one this summer and put in the dog apartment. And I have noticed that I, almost all summer, I've only run that thing on low. Same BTU, 5,000 BTU, but it only needs to go on low. And, you know, you just we just don't know what kind of products we're getting anymore. Uh, I do know refrigerators, washer and dryers, especially new ones are junk. And so it's, it's hard to know when you buy them, you know, they may look all fancy, got all the digitals, but you don't know how long that's going to last. And I've found out a lot of these things that have the, the digital panels and all that, that's the first thing on them to go and their air conditioner just has the dials you know it has the analog dials and i but you can't find that in a bigger btu air conditioner and i'm talking about wall units really my cabin does not need any more than one wall unit and it cools the whole place you know uh, i have a 26 foot high ceiling and when you have something like that, all the heat rises up to the top and the below it stays cool. Even without an air conditioner, it would stay probably 85 degrees in there uh, towards the bottom. And that's how they used to design houses back in the day. Uh, they would make them big 12 foot ceilings where the heat would rise because, you know, nobody had air conditioning until 75 years ago it wasn't a commonplace until probably the 70s and we have become very spoiled today uh, people lived here 100 years ago with no air conditioning people lived in louisiana alabama where the high humidity is without air conditioning for many many years and today we are so spoiled if the air conditioner goes out, we, we will sell our kids to go buy a new one. Anything to keep from suffering in the heat. And I think that's weakened human beings over time. Well, I don't think. I know. It's weakened people a lot. Uh, people are just, we have become so used to our modern day gadgets that in you know well power goes out everybody's freaking out they cannot stand it you know the cell phones go down they're not nobody knows what to do so i try to maintain a little bit in my life uh, of you know if this happens i'm cool i've got this backup plan um this is how i'm gonna stay cool you got to have something like that. Living in a city, a little harder to do. That's uh, the last place I would want to be right now. Uh, they're just, uh, 
too many people for me. <laughs> I can't go do things anymore that, you know, that there, there's a ton of people just can't. And I've never really been a concert goer or anything like that. But anywhere there's a group of people, people just gotten stupid over the last 20 years. You know, it's, it's been a process. Idiocracy is, is something I could say that it explains it. And that is a true fact. Uh, the things, you, you know, you never know what you're going to see on the news the next morning when you wake up, what the headlines are going to be, what. What kind of moron did this or did that? Or what is he protesting? Uh, People got nothing better to do. They need to keep busy in their lives. They won't have to worry about protesting. Okay. It rarely does any good to protest. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, You don't see that in small towns. You don't see that. I, I've yet to see anything that happens nationwide in a in a city happen in my small town, which I don't live in a small town. I am uh, in a little township. You know, there's no businesses. There's one church. Uh, it's 15 miles away to the center of, about 13 miles to the center of the next town over. But, if you were to mail me something, that town is listed in my address because that is where the nearest post office is. That's how that works. You may not be in that town, but that's going to be part of your address because that is that is where the post office is. And I like that, you know, that I'm not in town. People think I am, but I'm not. Get some of this coffee. And I think, over the last 150 years, cities have become part of the big part of the issue of what is wrong with society today. People are just cramming together, wanting to live together in a big concrete jungle, and they've gotten away from, from real living, grassroots living. They, don't, they can just wake up, walk down the road, or well, that, nah, they're not going to walk. They're going to jump in their car and drive 30 feet to their Walmart and get whatever it is they need. They got a taste for chips. They're going to go get chips. That has also led to people getting big. Yes, people are much bigger today. Um, I used to think growing your own garden and all that was, you know, that was the key to healthy living. And it, and it is healthy. But definitely, definitely what is sold in the grocery stores nowadays, as I've said before, 95% of it is garbage. I mean, when I shop now, I go directly to eggs. I go directly to the meat. I do not even look at anything on the shelves of any of the aisles because there's nothing in the aisles that is healthy. You would have to look very hard to find something that was healthy. The the greed, the corporate greed has gotten to the point they don't care about your health. They want you hooked. They want you hooked on something bad enough that you're going to want it all the time. And it has ingredients, chemical ingredients, ingredients nobody ever heard of 50 years ago. But that is stuff that makes the food taste great in your mind. And you got to have it. You know, I, I've, I wish I knew these things years ago. And there comes a point where you just you get into the flow like everybody else. And you don't even think about it. And next thing you know, you're 400 pounds. And you don't know what to do. You feel like crap. And that's where I found myself. And I woke up this morning. I felt incredible. I got eight hours of sleep. Eight hours. I know for a fact. I turned everything off at 10 o'clock. And I woke up at 6 o'clock. And I did not wake up one time. Not once. That is very rare. And it's getting more and more like that every day. 
I know I notice I'm sleeping a lot longer and I'm feeling a lot better. Now I don't I haven't been taking as many naps. I got into that routine where I would take an hour nap in the afternoon. I did take one yesterday because uh, I got up exceptionally early yesterday. Sometimes you got to do that. But I didn't, you know, uh, probably four or five days out of the week, I'm not taking naps anymore. And, and that's a good thing because you do sleep better at night when your sleep has, has not been uh, interrupted by naps. Uh, I'll usually go to the recliner about 8 o'clock at night, put on something on YouTube, and fight. I sit there and fight falling asleep. And I don't want to fall asleep at 8 or 8.30 because I know I'm going to be up at 4 in the morning. I don't always, always want to be up at 4 in the morning. It's just not good. Because <laughs> I got things to do during the daylight hours that I need to be awake. And uh, I need to be uh, not, not tired. So there's one thing I like about doing this carnivore I, i've got a whole lot more energy than than i've had and i'm getting these projects knocked out now today i'm going to put together my new exercise bicycle and i'm going to get that gym area i'm going to clean it up in there real nice get that nice and comfortable get me some music in there and tomorrow morning i'm beginning the daily workouts and i'm going to i'm going to uh, log what I've done each day and sometimes it's hard to just get motivated to get into that routine to do stuff like that I ain't going out there and setting any records I'm just going to do some daily exercise and I think that bike's going to be good for me I'll be doing a review on it you know that uh, appreciate it if you guys would watch that it's a pretty neat looking bike um, it's got the TV screen and it's got a program. They give me a year free subscription to that. And it's got some Yahoo on there and you can ride the bike with them. But I, I don't care. I don't want to look at another person while I'm exercising. I want to look at mountain scenery. I'm going to be riding through the mountains. It can do that too. I guess it's got surround sound speakers. That's going to be cool. You could play Netflix. You could play movies on it, on the screen. You could stream to the screen to do. I'm not going to be on the bike that long, you know. I'm just going to probably do some mountain scenes and ride along with that. And then I'll hop over to the weight machine and do me some curls. And this morning, I got the big mirror out. I got a big mirror. It's got some writing and stuff on it. And I laid it up against the wall. And what I could use to pinch on my gut with like this is now like this. It's awesome. You know, you can't help when you've lost that much weight. You cannot help but to look at yourself in the mirror and go, wow. I mean, I have not looked like that in a long time. Uh, it's pretty cool to do that. Uh, I'm not hanging the mirror up, but it, it's nice to be able to look in the mirror and say, it's a good feeling that you've accomplished something and you're feeling better every day, more and more every day. And that's a good thing. So I've been asked to do carnivore videos, more carnivore videos on my other channel. And I will. But here's the issue with that. Now, my channel did, has is not about that, okay? It's about, well, it's Washita Mountain Living. I will include what I'm doing, and I still have to make the big video. I'm not there yet where I've lost all the weight that I wanted to. That's going to be a good one. Uh, I will have to include some clips from the previous videos, obviously. But I don't want to bombard people. There are people that are my subscribers over there that just log on to watch me build. Uh, I don't want to bombard them with one subject. That's off the niche of what the channel's about. I don't even really know what the niche is on that channel. So there will be some, and I know I have new subscribers on that channel because of 
my carnivore videos. So there will, there, there will, I will be talking about it there and I'm talking about it here, but it's not going to be every single day. I would lose a majority of the subscribers I had that are not interested in this. And I think right now it's just kind of like the honeymoon phase. They're, they're interested in it because they're watching somebody that they've watched for several years that was big. Now they're watching that person get smaller and the, and there's an interesting element to that. And I know I've watched channels where the guy was big and they lost a whole bunch of weight, but eventually that wears off. So you still have to keep doing what you normally do. Uh, so I got to be careful with that. You know, maybe in the future, there could be another channel where that is just a hundred percent all it is. And I have been thinking of that, but how many channels do I want to run? I do got that third channel. What dogs do. That's got about 800 subs, almost 900. Maybe I could turn that into something with the workouts and carnivore and do carnivore cooking. That's an option. Cause I don't really do anything with that channel. Uh, it's, you know, it's just sitting there and it's close to monetization. So maybe that's something I will do for those people that really want to watch that. But also at the same time, I want to inspire the people that I already have to do the same thing, or at least wake up and, and try to get healthier. So let me know what you think. Should I turn that channel into carnivore Mike? Or the carnivore dog. I don't know, man. What's my ideas? And what do I do on that channel? Film my workouts? I, I think it would get some views. Uh, just kind of throwing it out there. But, it, I mean, as it is right now, the channel just, it's just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, I don't want to do this till after October because, you know, I've got to do a video for Dogtober on both channels every day. Last year, I think I did it on all three channels, but that channel kind of lagged behind a little bit, but I did a bunch of videos last October on that channel as well. Uh, it was just too much, you know, three channels of video every day. Uh, so we'll do that maybe in November. So let me know what you think. Uh, that channel's already sitting there. Wouldn't take much to change the name. Maybe I'll start working on that. And if you want to watch it, fine. If not, you don't have to. Uh, but it, but it's there. Uh, I think what I'm doing has inspired some people. In fact, I mean, I see it in the comments. People say, well, we started when you did and here, I like hearing that what your progress has been and are you sticking to it? Are you cheating? Cause, uh, cheating, if you're cheating, you're only cheating one person yourself. And I have not found that to be a temptation. I really haven't. And now I don't have any more of that canned goods. I got rid of all that, gave it away, gave it to two separate people that needed it. And I don't have that because I'm not going to eat it. It's just sitting in there going to waste when it could be feeding people. Uh, they're buying stuff like that anyway, but now I've got that room. I got to figure out what to do with it. I'm definitely going to paint it. I'm talking about the red room. I am definitely painting that room again, but I, I think I'm going to turn it into a small bedroom. I may have a guest coming here in a few weeks, so I need to turn that into a small guest room. Uh, I don't want to sleep in there. Nope. That's where that lady died. I ain't sleeping in there, man. That's the same as a loft. The man died up there. I ain't sleeping up there either. I sleep downstairs where I do. All right, guys, let me know what you think about that. Maybe that third channel. Uh, it's already there. I already have three channels, so might as well use it. Maybe a weekly post on that channel. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.